Hi friends, welcome to day 5 to solve UPC prelims questions 2019. Today, uh, we are going to cover the section current affairs or general awareness. I am Uma Maheshwari and I have cleared civil services exam 2018. To me, please pass the slide and read the info. Let's begin to win. Question number 1. Uh, United Nations Convention Against Corruption has a protocol against the smuggling of migrants by land, sea and air. What is corruption and uh, where is the correlation between corruption and smuggling of migrants? Actually, this is wrong because it is not UNCAC but it is UNTOC which is United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime. It has a protocol. UNTOC has the protocol against smuggling of migrants by uh, land, sea and air. UNC, UNCAC is the first uh, legally binding global anti-corruption instrument. Yes, this is correct. A highlight of UNTOC is the inclusion of specific chapter aimed at uh, returning assets to their rightful owners from whom they had been taken illicitly. No, this is wrong. Actually, the a highlight of UNCA is CAC. It is not UNTOC, but UNCAC. So this is uh, wrong and the fourth op uh, statement, the United Nations Office on Drug and Crime is mandated by its member states to assist in the implementation of both UNCAC and UNTOC. Yes, this is correct. So the answer to this question is C, 2 and 4. The statements 1 and 3 in the statements, the organizations are reversed, the conventions. Question number 2, which of the following adopted a law? on data protection and privacy for its citizens known as General Data Protection Regulation in April 2016 and started its implementation from 2018. Actually, this was uh, very much in news and uh, the answer is C, European Union. If you had read the uh, news, uh, this is a hotcake question for you. Please do read the details. Question number three, India signed a deal known as Action Plan for Prioritization and Implementation of Cooperation Areas in the Nuclear Field with which of the following countries? See, in nuclear field, India majorly cooperates with Russia because Russia is the only country which has given its technology and nuclear uh, power plants in India. Other than that, there are agreements signed, but Russia is the real true friend in, in the case of uh, nuclear energy. So, the answer is B. Uh, Russia. The two countries have uh, had agreed to develop a project of six nuclear power units of Russian design and uh, also the according to the document the Russia will offer evolutionary VBER generation 3 plus technical solutions. Uh, VBER the sense water cold water moderated energy reactor. The technology transfer will also be done by Russia and will increase the level of India industry's involvement and localization. The Global Competitiveness Report is published by uh, such questions are asked in UPSC. So whenever you read a report in news, when a report is found in news, please do get into the details and uh, note them separately so that before prelims you can have a glance at them. The answer here is C, World Economic Forum. This is fact-based. Unless you know the fact, you cannot answer this question. You can see 2018 ranking. Each of the above is not a sub-index of the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index. See, India's rank jumped so much in the case of Ease of Doing Business. So, the details of the index uh, is very, very important. Uh, please do get into studying all the 10 sub-indices of uh, World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index. And the answer to this question is A, Maintenance of Law and Order. It is not a sub-index of Ease of Doing Business. See? Pass the slide and memorize the 10 sub indices now itself. Question number 6. It is regarding Atal Innovation Mission. This is under another hot cake question. Uh, everyone must be aware. It is C. Niti Ayog. It is to promote innovation and entrepreneurship across the length and breadth of the country. Uh, this is done by mainly launching challenges, competitions and awarding prize money. And... Consider the following statements. According to Indian Patents Act, a biological process to create a seed can be patented in India. No, actually uh, seeds, plants, uh, trees, such things and their biological processes cannot be patented in India. In India, there is no intellectual property appellate board. This is wrong because India has intellectual property appellate board. 
can plan for it is or not eligible to be patented in India? Yes, this is correct. So the answer to this question is C3 only. As per the industrial employment standing orders, uh, central rules 2018, if rules for fixed term employment uh, or implemented fixed term in the sense contractual employment, uh, it becomes easier for the firms to lay off workers. Yes, this is correct. No notice of termination of employment shall be necessary in the case of temporary workmen. This is also correct. So the answer to this question is C, both 1 and 2. Question number 9. Uh, this is regarding Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Board. PNGRB is the first regulatory board set up by the Government of India. Now, PNGRB came into existence in 2006. So, there were n number of regulatory bodies existing before that. So, statement 1 is obviously wrong. One of the tasks of PNGRB is to ensure competitive markets for gas. Yes, this is correct. And appeals against the decision of PNGRB go before the appellate tribunals of the electricity. This is also correct. The answer to this question is B, 2 and 3. Question number 10. This is regarding coal sector. Coal sector was nationalized by the government of India under Indira Gandhi. Yes, this is correct. Absolutely true. Indira Gandhi nationalized the coal sector. Now, coal blocks are allocated on lottery basis. No, this is wrong because coal blocks are allocated on the basis of auction. Until recently, India imported coal to meet the shortages of domestic supply. But now India is self-sufficient in coal production. No, this is also not true because India is still dependent on imports in the case of coal. So the answer to this question is A11. With reference to the management of minor minerals in India, consider the following statements. Sand is a minor mineral according to the prevailing law in the country. Yes, this is true. Sand is a minor mineral. And the state governments have the power to grant mining leases of minor minerals. But the powers regarding formation of rules lie with the center. No, this is wrong. Because the complete powers with respect to minor minerals is with the state governments. And with respect to the major minerals lie with the central government. And state governments have the power to frame rules to prevent illegal mining of minor minerals. This is correct. So the answer to this question is A, 1 and 3. Yes, we have come to the end of today's video. If you have started from 2019, you have completed a year. So hats off to you. And you have started from 2011. You have completed almost nine years of UPSC prelims questions. Now you would have got an idea of how UPSC is questioning. So persistence always pays. Please do proceed with your hard work. All the best. Thank you.